What's going on, everybody? This is Rain. And Jeno. And this is Sinister RP Reactions. Welcome back, everybody. We are going to be reacting some more chills. He brought out a video just the other day, and this one is called 11 Scary Videos You Should Not Watch Alone. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see how scary these ones are. Yeah, the last one that we checked out, that was pretty creepy. It was. There was some creepy stuff in there. So uh, let's see what you got for us today. One, two, three. This list of scary videos is too scary for you to handle watching alone at night. So don't be afraid to grab a friend and share the scares. Number 11. A surprised hiker caught this creepy sighting on video along the cliffs of Ditifoss, Iceland. They are taking in the sights when they see small movements that they find strange. As the explorer gets closer to investigate, they see what they describe as a little creature peering at them oh, oh, from yeah, the other side actually, of the cliff. Whoa. They say ah. nobody else was on the trail at the time. So what does this look like to you? It could be the tail of an animal, or maybe somebody holding up a creepy doll, or maybe or it really monkey? is some kind of humanoid creature holding on for its life. When they Weird. zoom all the way in, they manage to get a glimpse of a head full of dark hair that looks like it could belong to a person, though it could be a doll hair if this is fake. Whatever it is, the unknown creature quietly disappears and is not seen again. Number Ooh. 10. A man on a motorcycle sees a stranger running on foot and then sees what they are chasing after, their own horse. Without hesitation, the brave man accelerates and quickly catches up to the horse, who bucked its rider and is now running scared. But the sound of the motorcycle scares it further, and they round a turn. It looks like the two are going to collide, which would have not ended well for the man. The creature slows down in its confusion and then takes off again. Meanwhile, the man picks up the owner, oh, and the chase is on again. With the woman still on the back of the bike, they manage to grab the horse by the reins and calm it down long enough to stop. This is a risky maneuver that could have easily ended with her falling off the bike, so I'm glad it worked out Either well. Number bike. nine, yeah, exploring God, really abandoned bad. houses for paranormal uh, evidence is oh, an activity ooh, that's as old crazy. as YouTube itself. As this early video taken in August of 2005 shows, the team of amateur ghost hunters are exploring an abandoned house oh, from the street when activity within lets them know it's quite haunted. At two seconds, one of them points to an all-white apparition and they all take off. Homeless, I anyway, don't think this is fake because so. video editing was not that common mm, back in 05. Maybe. And when you play it in slow motion, yeah, you can actually, actually see the mysterious figure go from right, right to left be. across the doorway. Like it's bizarre, really sure, but was it a ghost? Number 8. An urbex YouTuber called RNK All Day is exploring a creepy <coughs> building that used to be a funeral home before it was abandoned. The funeral home is not haunted per se, is, at least not from not what I can tell. But what they find is every bit as scary as any ghost video you'll ever watch. You see, a long time ago, this North Carolina establishment was shut down because of improper business operations. People were not notified about their loved ones in a timely fashion, and the remains were often not stored properly at all. As RNK all day explores the abandoned building, he finds evidence of their misdeeds laying out in the open. Oh, Sitting in a battered cupboard box on an old altar is a discarded plastic bag full of what appears to be ashes. There's no way to tell if these are the ashes of someone until you look at the box that definitely says cremation services. If this is what we think it is, which I think it almost definitely is, then they should be properly I've placed in an urn, not out in the open like this. And if like. there are more items like this lying around, then maybe this building is haunted after all. Number 7. A YouTuber named Joey Cuncialdi is joking around with his friend when he pretends to dive under the covers to be silly. As he is doing so, the thin bizarre outline of a scrawny shadow person is seen behind him for a split second, and by the time he comes back up, it's yeah. gone. Joey is certain huh. that this ghost sighting is real, but I'm wondering if it was just the banister seen a few seconds later. It looks to be in a different position and not as dark, and therefore probably was not it. Number 6. Urban explorers Stacy and Cliff are exploring the abandoned Bryce Hospital, an Alabama asylum that is haunted as can be. 
Little do they know a shadow person is following it's them like all the while with, uh, and can be seen caught on video multiple mm -hmm. times. When they first enter the building, a paranormal presence compels Stacy to not only look to her left, but to call out as well. Hello? A partially hidden shadow figure stands in the doorway. Yeah. As soon as I she mean, says hello, the screen blurs like movement is near. Again, could be she feels somebody, the need to look again, um, but this time person. the mysterious I mean, shadow way, that still figure is gone. Can be scary, right? On a different floor, <laughs> we see a strange passing shadow move across the doorway. Though this bizarre movement could simply be a trick of the light and not necessarily paranormal. With that said, a few minutes later is when they see the shadow figure one final time. A ghost in the doorway watching them without a word, and as Stacy turns around, the shadowy figure smooths out and mysteriously disappears. They finish exploring the hospital without another mysterious figure sighting. Number 5 This 2009 video is some of the earliest and most bizarre evidence of the weird and mysterious lights at the Skinwalker Ranch in Utah, which is considered a hotbed of paranormal activity all around. Perfect spheres of lights like this one often are sighted in the sky, or sometimes on the ground. Strange lights that have never been explained. The mysterious lights don't look like anything made by a person because they are almost as tall as a tree yeah. and extremely wide, much bigger than even the largest of actually. spotlights. This next video taken by the uploader's brother shortly after spending a Ooh, day at the Skinwalker or... Ranch yeah. shows an object moving on its own in their basement. Swinging for even 15 minutes now. Yeah. More unexplained lights have been haunting his basement. Did something paranormal follow them home? Number 4 Chelsea Luna and her friend James go ghost hunting in an old haunted tunnel from the 1920s. This creepy shadow figure at 18 minutes and 7 seconds is what they find. Everyone says that this is a real ghost sighting, but I'm pretty sure this alleged apparition is simply Chelsea's finger while pointing at something. You can kind of see the rest of her hand when you look close. A split second before it happens. So I think this scary ghost sighting is an oh accident God, and not real. Yeah, good catch, Number chills. three, Crazy George's Bridge is the name of a legendarily haunted location in Tennessee. This bridge overlooks the very same tracks that a man named George once wandered onto and met a terrible fate. Now George's angry ghost chases away anyone who says his name three times. Strange magic rituals are also said to be practiced out in the woods to honor his name, and so paranormal activity has become a regular occurrence over the years. Tonight a brave YouTuber named Mads Entertainment is ready to settle the legend of Crazy George once and for all, and so he goes on a paranormal exploration of the bridge at night from the top to bottom. That area's been hit Crazy hard. George. Oh yeah. Crazy George. Oh, vandalism. Crazy George. The sound of an approaching engine turns out to be nothing more than oncoming traffic. They refuse to give up the ghost hunt and try to address the paranormal directly by speaking into the night sky. If anyone's here, you can come speak into my camera. They are positive that these sound like the noises of a little ghost girl screaming in the woods, possibly a manifestation of black magic rituals in the past. I'm not so sure because I think it could be an animal. Here's the sound again. Let me know what you think this scary voice in the yeah. darkness belongs to. Number 2 A YouTuber an named Outdoors with Eric patrols his property at night because he suspects a mysterious creature in the woods. It's a scary exploration and a creepy location for sure, but Eric wants to get as much evidence on camera as he can, so he keeps his fear in check and marches forward. At 1 minute and 43 seconds, he hears some really scary noises coming from the woods. I don't know what kind of creature would be up late at night screaming in the darkness. What does it sound like to you? Hear that? He walks for another minute until the scary noises give him pause again, much louder and closer this time. Man, you guys hear that? I don't 
almost sounds like what we heard the other night. He feels watched mm. and zooms in close with his night vision camera. You can barely make out the shape of a creature at first, so let me point it out for you. That is bizarre. When he plays with the setting, he gets a much better sighting on the creature and soon discovers there are two of them across the stream. They're coming closer. Yeah. Two dots in the distance mark where he thinks they are. The screaming creatures of the night. No doubt they are real and so are the scary noises. But the real question is, what are they? I've got one. A ghost hunting group called No Fear Paranormal lives up to their name while exploring a haunted cemetery with a K2 meter, a spirit box, and some recording equipment. The name of the haunted place they're exploring is the Tonopah Cemetery in Nevada. They ask it a question, but apparently whatever is nearby has only one topic on its mind. Can you tell us how many of us are out here? How many people are in the cemetery? A demon. A demon. <clears throat> a scary voice of a man comes through their paranormal there. equipment and calmly responds with two words, a demon. demon. I'm not sure if this is a real ghost EVP or not, but the way it immediately tells them that a demon is nearby is frightening to say the least, and possibly more than a creepy coincidence. Exploring abandoned places has gone wrong plenty of times. There's a good one there, Chills. Scary... That was, uh, I mean, there was a couple in there. I mean, you spotted out some... Some faults in some of them too, and uh, I like that you leave it up for a lot of other people to kind of judge it for themselves. You know what I mean? So exactly. that's pretty awesome. So, okay, guys. Until next time, keep it spooky. Yeah.